Self-love. What is self-love? Have you ever been taught how to love yourself or did any of your parents explain to you the importance of self-love? I bet no one did because when I was a kid no one of my parents came to me and told me Alice you need to love yourself you need to accept yourself the way you are so this is something I hear about a lot with so many of my clients who ask me the question Alice can you give us some tips so that we get to a point where we could fall in love with ourselves you know <clears throat> something that we humans do not really uh, pay attention to is that if you are the problem everything else is gonna be a problem maybe you're thinking a lot of your friends do not like you maybe you're thinking so many people do not like me but the reality is it comes from within and it doesn't come from outside and without you know so probably you should focus right now on this topic how can I love yourself hi there I'm Alice I'm a life and business coach and I created this channel so that I could serve you with my humble knowledge that I learned throughout my different experiences I teach you about love attraction self-development and self-growth and also some business tips so stay tuned till the end of the video so that you could learn something new from me and don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel this would mean the world to me and encourage me to even create more and more content for you and hit the subscribe button leave a thumbs up and let's move into the video so guys maybe you have been wondering like how can you love yourself or why can't I attract the right partner to me and um, to my life and why everything seems to be messy in my life so the answer to that is maybe you don't have enough self-love or enough self-esteem <clears throat> this is something important you know being in love with yourself is not selfish it's just being in love with yourself it's like you're loving someone, but this someone is you. You know, when it's a birthday, you care about the other people. You wanna give them gifts. You wanna um, take them out for dinner and do something with them. But when it comes to you, do you treat yourself as those people? So self-love is just your self-worth. It's just you seeing yourself as the greatest person in your life and you accepting that you may have flaws, you may have problems, you may have challenges in life, but this is the beauty of it. It's that you are an amazing person and no one can change that. So I've been asked this question, how can I love myself? I, I really would like to tell you something about me that maybe you won't believe but I remember when I was like 16 I hated myself I hated the way I looked I was never jealous of other girls because it's not one of my it's just not in me being jealous but I would look at other girls and I would say oh my god if only I was like her if only I could be like that girl and I would realize that I cannot be like other people um, and I hated this part of me and I hated myself because I didn't look the way I wanted to but when I started my self-growth journey I understood that and I understood that I needed to work on me and on my self-worth one self-worth self-esteem self-love self-acceptance and so these all go together so something you should probably do right now if you want to fall in love with yourself you know this is the relationship that you're gonna have for life it's it's not the relationship that you're gonna have for two months it's you I'm talking about you as a person if you don't love you 
no one will love you. I mean, if you don't send the good vibes to people that you believe you're a worthy person, that you're an amazing person, then no one else will believe it because yourself, you don't believe it. So probably start with loving yourself. So maybe you're going to say, okay, Alice, how can I fall in love with myself? How can I love me as I love my partner, as I love my mother, as I love my father, my family, everyone else. Here is the first thing you need to do. You need to accept the fact that your worth doesn't depend on your, you know, the way you look. This, this really doesn't depend on that. You, you are worthy as you are. You, you are an amazing person as you are and you don't need yourself to change, to change yourself, excuse me, to please others or to be loved by others or to love yourself. Maybe you could be a little bit overweight. That's fine. It's just your hormones. It's just your body. You need to embrace that. You just need to fall in love with the way you look and find a way to make it work between you. It's like working on a relationship with someone else. You're trying to find how you can make it work out. So that's it. Second thing, believe it or not, everyone has flaws. No one is perfect. We all ha have flaws. We are all good and sometimes bad people. We could be good at something, we could be bad at something, okay? So personally, uh, I'm someone who loves helping people, who loves being there for others, but sometimes I just get too emotional. Uh, and This is not a bad thing. I love being sensitive. I love being emotional. You know, something that um, one of my friends told me the other day is that the world needs sensitive people and needs like people who are not sensitive and sensitive people who are strong, who are like just they think logic, logic, logic. It's a balance, okay? Third, think about all the things you have achieved. Think about where you are right now. You know, maybe you've been through some tough moments in life, you've been through some hardships in life, but you, are, you have overcame all those hardships. So, so what? You are alive, you're breathing, you're amazing. So really, that's it. Fourth thing, think about all your qualities. Write them down, okay? Take a piece of paper, write that, those down. Write all the good qualities that you have, all the good things people tell you, and just feel it, okay? Don't reject it, because sometimes we just feel like, oh, okay, that person told me I'm beautiful. Oh, I look weird. I, I look very ugly. You just go and look at yourself and say, okay, I look ugly. How come? Someone else just told you that you look beautiful. You look amazing. So how come you say that to yourself? You're amazing the way you are and you don't need to tell yourself some negative affirmations. Okay. Fifth thing, let's move to this one. This is one of the things that I love so much. So every morning when you wake up, try this for a month and let me know in the comments below how it works. This is not my method. This is Mel Robbins method. It's the high five. You know, every morning when you wake up, high five yourself. Go to the mirror and high five yourself. Say, yes, thank you for getting up today and being able and being ready to face the day, the new challenges of life and just feel it, feel it deep down inside of you and love the feeling, okay? Really don't be ashamed of that. No matter how you look, you can look messy, you can look amazing, you can look, wow, you could, we are all ugly sometimes. To tell you the truth, that's it. No one is perfect every day. Um, but if you're someone who loves to take care of herself or himself, here's what you need to do. This is my sixth tip for you. Treat yourself, you know. When it's someone's birthday, 
You certainly will go and try to find a hotel room, maybe if it's your boyfriend's or your husband's birthday, you'll find a, something to make them happy and you'll buy them gifts in Christmas, you'll buy gifts to family, you treat everyone. Did you ever buy a gift for yourself? Um, probably you say, oh, yeah, I buy things, but I don't intend them as gifts. Then make this, do this, okay? Make it a habit. As soon as you achieve some milestones, even little milestones, go and celebrate it with you, okay? You celebrate things with friends, you go out with friends, you do things with friends. Why don't you just celebrate it with yourself? I mean, you could just be happy, be amazing, be thankful, grateful for what you have achieved so far, okay? And uh, don't overthink things, guys. Overthinking things too much, I have, no, is not what will take you where you want. It's really just going with the flow, embracing your flaws, loving yourself, being in tune with your energies, being aligned with your values, and being in love with you. This is what will last forever and nothing else will last forever, okay? I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to do something. Keep a, a gratefulness journal. Every night before you go to bed, write down how are you feeling, what did happen. I keep a journal. This is what I bought from Amazon. It's called the Mindfulness Journal. It's blue. And I can't tell you how grateful I am for buying that mindfulness you know, um, journal. And I'm aiming, uh, I really want to create my own journal. So I'm working on that. And hopefully one day I'll release it and you're gonna be able to, uh, to buy it and use it for yourself and your, for your own mental well and health well-being. So hope you did enjoy this video one, once more. No, yes, another time. <laughs> Um, don't hesitate giving me a thumbs up leave a comment below give us some tips tell us more about maybe some tips I didn't mention I have so much to say about law the law of self-love but let's just make it short for today and another time I'm gonna discuss this theme more love you so much guys take care of yourselves keep the positive energy up and see you in the next video Bye.